Hey everyone, this is DJ Jam and Joe Damiano, and I'm here on my birthday celebration in Rochester, New York, with Nerdy and a couple other fine folks. Let's go! <laughs> The ground is shaking and the world is changing. Okay, so that's our main ingredient. Yeah, the loop there. From the both of us. Yes. Okay, so I'll get the seed of the turf first. Hey, Mom, well, look at this. Look, Mom. Christina. Oh, what is it? Oh, wow. Do, 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 do. What is it? A t-shirt? Not just any t-shirt. Wow. Yeah, it it lurk. Um, if it doesn't fit, I have the receipt back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. You're welcome, uh, bud. Open it. it. It has your third favorite thing in it. Uh, Autograph! Yay! Thanks so much. Uh, there it is. Um, I'm gonna... This is the first thing, so it's Sparks and Prince of Pranks by Ken Beaton. Yep. Um, we know Ken. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen him in a while, but yeah. Oh, back to yeah. Wow. wow. We we we've seen it a couple of times at the uh, wow. Spirit Store. Yeah. There you go. Okay, ready? Go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. So, as you see in the previous video, the previous segment, um, Adrian did give me a syrup, but it was too small. So, I went back to Spirit Halloween here in Rochester, and here's what I got. I got this um, sock glass. Um, as Michael on the back of it. I got a Friday the 13th tumbler right here. And I got a welcome to Crystal Lake tote bag. Thanks, Adrian, for the generosity of spirit. What's up, Joseph? It's me, Trevor Furman. I play Elias in the Clerks movies. I guess you knew that. Uh, first and foremost, of course, happy upcoming birthday. Um, always a joyous occasion. I shouldn't say that. It's not always a joyous occasion. I hope this one is for you. Um, I hope you go do something interesting or fun. Like, what, what do I think you should do? Go to like a... Uh, Go to like a Benihana, you know, like really treat yourself. Um, so as for this thing, people wouldn't know about the Clerks franchise. I'm not sure that I have a ton of like gossip because Kevin's so loquacious. He'll just, and he's such an open book. I feel like anything that I would say, he's probably already said somewhere. But like gossip wise... Jason Lee doesn't memorize his lines. That's funny. Uh, great performance in Clerks too, but yeah, did not memorize a single line. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, 
Jeff Hunt's Jeff uh, Huff's paint. It's true. We have to the spray paint budget on Clerks Two and Clerks Three is enormous. And tube socks, we got to get them a lot of tube socks to huff the paint in. Um, but again, these are what everybody knows. This like I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. <laughs> um, uh, I guess one thing about the Clerks Three thing that I don't sure if this will be interesting to you, but the uh, I all the the women and the mostly women, but some men who did all my costumes and. Um, and hair and makeup and stuff for Clerks 3. They were all super funny. And the... There's a... There's a look that uh, my character has where he looks... It's on one of the posters, actually, where he looks kind of like Daryl Hannah from Blade Runner. And the story behind this is... We were already, like, doing all kinds of weird costumes. And <laughs> we were really exhausting the uh, hair and makeup and wardrobe people. And one time, Sasha, she was the one who did my makeup every day. She was smearing some eyeliner on me, and she must have got some on the bridge of my nose, and it just reminded me of of Pris from Blade Runner. And so I was like, can we do a Pris look? And everyone in the trailer was like, Trevor, please shut the f*** We can't do any more looks. And I was like, I'm going to ask Kevin. And so I went to when I went up to the set that day, I asked Kevin, and I was like, hey, can we do a Pris look? And he thought about it for a second. He went, only if you get the wig. So... Then we went, um, oh, I have another, I have another story. Yeah, anyway, then we got a wig. So then that wig was reused like several times throughout uh, the course of like bird, bird wing head Elias. And also like the very end look where he's some kind of weird glammed out flock of seagulls guy or something like that. Those are all the same wig because uh, Angie, she, she did the hair. She was pretty smart. Uh, the last story I have is there's a scene in the movie where my character is really allergic to a cat and then he falls down and, uh, I was, I was laying on the ground waiting for the, we were maybe minutes away from the shot being like from action being called. I was laying on the ground and I thought, um, Hey, wouldn't it be funny if I was, if, if Elias was like foaming at the mouth in the scene, which like is not a thing that actually happens when you're having an allergic reaction, but I just thought it'd be funny. I was only half serious. Like I didn't think there was time, you know, to like do it. And I looked at Sasha I was, as she's, again, she did the makeup. I looked at her sort of as a joke. I was like, can, can you make me foam from that? She's like, Trevor, I've got like a, like a pencil. Like, no, I can't make you foam from the mouth. And then Angie, the aforementioned hair, um, uh, artist or, uh, whatever they call themselves. She was like, I know how to do that. And we were like, what? She was like, yeah, I work on that show, uh, The Blacklist, and we do like mouth foaming all the time. And I was like, how do you do it? She's like, well, you take an Alka-Seltzer and then you put a little water in your mouth and you just like swish it around and then it make, creates a bunch of foam. And I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. But like, where are we going to find an Alka-Seltzer in like the next 60 seconds? And then we all realized at the same time that we're literally in a convenience store. So Thor, our prop guy, just ran and grabbed um, an Alka-Seltzer off of the shelf and I was just like swishing it around in my mouth and I laid down and we were like seconds away from like calling action and I was thinking to myself like I don't even know if this is going to work and within seconds not only was it working it was working like way too well because like I'm still waiting for them to call action and like a softball sized sphere of foam is filling up my mouth and nose and I'm desperately trying not to laugh because I know we're only going to like probably get one shot at this. Yeah, and so then a bunch of foam comes out of my mouth, and then I just started laughing, and then they call cut. So that's a story that I have not told yet, I, I don't think, in any, like, public uh, setting. So, I don't know. Happy birthday. I hope you like I hope you like either of those stories. If not, I'm sorry. I duly apologize. All right. Later, man. Happy birthday. Hello. I want to give a shout-out to DJ Jam and Joe. Or, better known as Joe Damiano. <laughs> this is voice actress Linda Young, voice of OG Frieza, Dragon Ball Z, Valga, Arali, Fasha, voice of Genkai Yu Yu Hakusho, and Porla Yusuka on Fairy Tale, and more. And I want to say happy birthday to you. Huh? Oh, somebody else wants to say happy birthday. Hey, DJ 
DJ Chapman Joe, Lord Freeze. <laughs> I wanna just say happy birthday to you. Maybe I'll stop by. We can really blow things up. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joseph. I want to give you a shout out. I hope you had the whole month booked of celebrating you. Hey everyone, Nerdy Hillbilly here, and I'm shouting out DJ Jam and Joe Damiano on his birthday. Happy birthday, bud. Happy birthday, DJ Jam and Joe. Just want to give a quick shout out to Joseph for his birthday, October 14th. My son was born on October 13th. That's a great week. Great humans born that week. Happy birthday, brother. Keep pushing forward. I absolutely love your content. Have a great day. Hey, Joseph. It's Dave. Just wanted to take a moment to wish you a happy birthday. Hope you have a great day, buddy. Take care. See you soon. Happy birthday to one of my friends who I grew up with. His name is DJ Jammin Joe Joe Damiano. Happy birthday from your favorite birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, what's up, Joe? It's your boy CJ, kind of doing a uh, little cameo here. It's a uh, birthday shout out. Want to wish you happy birthday. Don't really know you. We're Facebook friends. We met through Alan Danziger, a.k.a. Chainsaw Jerry, 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I know that uh, you do love horror movies. And I love I love all movies. I love all things movies. But I, I, I have a special soft spot for horror movies. So the other day, uh, like two days ago, I had a meeting at a pub. And there's a guy set up selling VHSs. And I found one that I was like, oh, I just need to have to add to my collection. People under the stairs, Wes Craven. Uh, it's, it's a good movie. I enjoy this movie. Um, I want to say it's one of my favorite uh, directors that uh, made this movie, and uh, Wes Craven. And um, yeah, he made other movies like Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, and whatnot. Um, but I just, you know, don't know what your favorite movies are. Don't know what your favorite horror movies are. But he's one of my favorite directors, and I love watching all his movies. Um, I wonder who your favorite director is going to be. I don't really have any characters right now. I'm working on a character that I'll be filming next week. Uh, for my for my acting portion of uh, what I do, but uh, yeah, uh, remember I'm on uh, My Manic Mondays on the India Escape Network uh, Monday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Selfish plug. I uh, just want to say happy birthday, Joe, and I uh, hope you find yourself a nice copy of uh, People Under the Stairs and uh, give it a shot. It's Halloween season, you know. That's, you, you have a birthday in October. That's so cool. It's the fall. I have a spring birthday, so I like spring and fall. So, all right, Joe, I'll talk to you later. Have a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Joe. Hope you enjoy your day. Happy birthday, Joseph. Hey, Patrick here from Have Cheetah Will View. Eight questions with. Hey, I want to give a shout out and a happy birthday to our new friend, Joseph. Uh, Joseph, who uh, was recently a guest on the show, is celebrating his birthday. And, of course, me and Paladin had to get into the action. And uh, we want to say, uh, uh, Joseph, happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for your new friendship. Uh, really enjoy talking with you. Uh, uh, you're a tremendous guest. And uh, have a great day. Eat lots of cake. And, uh, and then hopefully party like, like there's no tomorrow. And uh, uh, and have a great year. And uh, you know, as far as that goes, this year is going to be the best year yet for you. Uh, you got a lot of things going on. You got your DJ and your acting. Uh, uh, things are on fire for you. So keep working hard. Keep that drive going. And uh, yeah, man, peace from a fan here in Michigan. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Joe. 